Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Master Nightfall, which is glass where you, we are getting double Vanguard points, so you're getting 700 for your first one, I believe, somewhere around that. Uh, and then it'll scale the more you do it. Uh, so if you want to see the full loadout, go at the end of the video. I will be speaking about the weapons that I'm using as the run goes on, but I want to just start right off the bat because we're trying to get into these videos a bit quicker. Uh, so there's not tons of messing about at the start of the video. This, in this run, the, the, the negative modifier, the main negative modifier is attrition. Which is, is a negative, but it, but it also isn't. Attrition can allow you to play very aggressively. What attrition does is it gives you constant health regeneration for a short period of time. So it will keep regenerating your health while you're getting hit. So that's the, one of the negative modifiers. Arc also, if you use arc or stasis, it's that modifier. That's the changing modifier, I believe, because there's three sets of modifiers that will change, that will ro you rotate through the three different modifiers as the week goes on. This, what, this today's uh, arc abilities recharge faster, but you also take more damage from them. Same as stasis. Now... What I'm using is the Peace of Mind. I'm using the Peace of Mind Pulse Rifle, which came from a previous season, two or three seasons ago. Uh, Limonok Bow and basically the star of the show is the Retrofit Escapade, the this season's heavy machine gun. I have a perk on it called Target Lock. Target Lock basically increases the damage you do the longer the weapon remains on the target. Absolutely smash this champion, you'll see here. Now, just just so that you're aware, I've also got a mod on counter charge, which comes from the... I've got counter charge on, as well as uh, solo operative and Lord Kelvin's Basilisk. Void grenades become un, uh, overload grenades. But I've got counter charge on. Every time I stun a champion, I will become charged for light. And I'm coupling that with high energy fire. So, I will do 20% more damage on the champion once I stun him. So, what's not to love? As I say, the full full loadout will be on at the end of the video for you guys to look through for yourself. Now, as you can see, I've got multiple ways to stop overloads because this, this, this guide, this run, is heavy on overloads. So, my grenades are overload. Uh, Lemonok is intrinsically overload, so it has it built in. I do not need to put uh, a mod on for it. Uh, I've got Lord Bas the, the Lord Basilisk's... Uh, Lord Kelvin's Basilisk, which makes my grenades overload. Uh, the Pulse Rifle literally is only there to... Uh, to break shields, because we'll be doing all the damage with with the bow. Now, for when you look at the loadout at the end, I will make two suggestions on two things to change. And the first one is, I still have counterbalance stock on my pulse rifle from the last time I used it in Crucible. And I've only used it once in Crucible, so put a major spec on that, you'll break the shields a bit quicker. In the video, I'm just waiting to get my grenade here, right? And you could probably on your class item have the artifact mod which escapes my can't remember exactly what it's called. Lucent Finisher. So when you finish Champions, you will get a Brick of Heavy. That's the two changes I would make. I'm just waiting for my grenade here. You'll see what I'm doing is I'm trying to use my grenade, unless I absolutely need it for an overload, I'm trying to use my grenade as ad clearance. So I know when I get to this point, there's going to be a more ad spawning from the right-hand side than the left. Now, the Champion, this barrier, can spawn from both sides. So sometimes he can spawn from the other side. Now, tip number two, make, don't get greedy with your damage. Make sure once you've done a bit of damage, if you've put uh, a, the grenade on a barrier, we're talking about barriers here. If you put a grenade on a barrier or you've hit it with Lemon Arc and you've got a burn thing going, switch to your barrier. Because if you're not on your barrier weapon when he shields, then he'll get 10% of his health back. Uh, uh, for efficiency's sake, you just don't want to have to keep putting damage on that you've already put on. 
So as you as you see now, uh, what I'm trying to do here is just take out some of the the residual enemies, especially the vandals. We don't really want them free roaming. There's a bat. There is an overload at this point. As long as that kind of stalactite, stalactite. I don't. I don't know which one it is. The one that's going up. Uh, I can't remember if stalactite goes up or stalagnite goes up. But if you don't go past this rock formation thing in front of us, then you won't bring out the next wave of ads. This is the key. This thing in front of us brings out the barrier. So as long as you're behind it, you can clear all the enemies. You can clear the overload. Blah, blah, blah. And then you can push. And you can see there, I put my grenade in front of all the enemies that came out of that doorway. So that cleared all those enemies to the left. And now what I'm left with is just a couple of shanks and a barrel. We are six minutes in. I looked. I said a little look on... Uh, on the channel before I put this up to see what my last run of this was and I think my last run was nearly 10 minutes slower than this and that's down to the machine gun that retrofit escapade it is I'd seen people talking about it and that's kind of why I gave it a go but I wasn't expecting it to be as good again. as it was another, another fun fact misses. you'll all be aware of this but I'll, I'll add this in I am running a full void setup because there's limited shields in here. There, are, there is a solar. There are some arc at the end, but it's 25% additional void damage. So the grenade, limb on arc, will chew through the additional shields. Now, when you get to this point, the kind of pyramidium looking part of the strike, there are two versions of this. One, you'll have Dreg right in front of you. When we just came, when we just dropped down there behind us, you'll have Dreg. If, you, if there's no Dreg there, then this is the version you'll have, which is just some shanks. Uh, they come out in groups of two normally. Take them out and then move over to the other side and you'll get the vandals that will spawn over to the left of where we are now. You can see me looking towards the direction there. And then we'll clear them out as best we can. That vandal, he didn't fancy it, so he decided, well, you know, I'll go on my own time. Got a couple of bricks of heavy over there, but we will have an overload this side of the gap. The other side is obviously where those vandals are. We'll get another overload once we go over there. So I'll just stop this overload there quite nicely with the Limon Arc. And then I'll just whittle him down with the retrofit while he's got a grenade on him. Now, another thing about overloads. The, if you do damage with an overload weapon or an overload grenade you stop their ability to re-health re themselves. Because as we all know, there's plenty of times where overloads, they'll take a hit to the face, you'll stop them, and then out of nowhere while you're doing damage, they just start getting their health back. That is because you're not using an overload weapon. If you if you get the... So you can get the hobgoblin overloads. If you're not using an overload weapon, that's why they fire that uh, retribution blast at you. Using an overload weapon is, is kind of key. Now, where that goes as well is the grenade is overload. So while the grenade is on the, the, the overload champion, not only will it be doing damage, but it, be, it will be imp impairing the, the overload champion's ability to, 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 to get health back until, you know, until... It, you stop shooting or the grenade stops taking effect, in which case, if you're putting lemon arc on, the burn will re-stun the overload. Now, get to this point here, the idea is you get ads, and you guys all know this, but for anybody that doesn't actually know it, this is the whole point of it, what's the point in a guide if I don't explain everything? This plate, as you'll see there, the radiolarium fluid drained goes up in a percentage and every time it goes up every time it gets to a certain point you will get uh rotating sets of ads so we got the ads on the right and then we go up a couple of more percent we'll get ads to the left if you're doing this solo to a couple of sets of enemies that you do not get you don't get the sniper shanks you don't get the heavy duty the big sh solar shielded shanks and you don't get the vandal snipers if you're doing this solo, you do not get any of those ads. 
Hence why I'm standing here. That works whether it's a master or if it's a GM. Right across the board, you will not get those ads. So I can stay on the plate. If I was getting the shanks, the sniper shanks, the heavy duty shanks and the vandal snipers up there, I wouldn't stay here. The minute I seen red on the map, that would be my cue to GTO. GTFO. Uh, can't say what that means on the video, but yes. <laughs> so once you've once you've done that and, you, and you've drained the radio flu radio larian fluid to the point where the ads come out, then you will get an overload. Surprise, surprise! This is an overload heavy strike. There, are, there are literally until you get to the boss, and even at the boss, there's like eight overloads. I mean, it's ridiculous, but. It's, it is a lot of overloads, but it's not too bad. Uh, it seems like the overloads, they don't pack the same punch this season. There is a part of the boss, spoiler alert, where an overload comes up behind me and punches me into the boss. Why did that happen for a guy that talks about repeatability? Because... As I say, as as and I might not have said it about attrition, I can't remember because this is the second version of this uh, commentary that I've done because my voice cracked up in the first one. Attrition allows you to play very, very aggressively. It gives you, which is the, the modifier, I think I did say this at the start of the video, and be, I thought I had attrition, so I played a little bit more aggressively. Overload just come up behind me, punched me, and I flew right past the boss and managed to glide all the way around back in and then take the, the overload was still looking at the direction I went. <laughs> which is quite funny. Uh, so once you've took the overload out you and you move forward a little bit, you get this wave of ads. So you've got sniper shanks, uh, sn sniper vandals, you've got shanks, you have a barrier. This is us just getting to the boss. Once we've cleared these enemies here, then... It's, it's all good, but that's us at the boss. So again, as I said about the barrier, what you want to do is put a burn on the barrier, whether it be your grenade or limb or not, and then just switch to your barrier weapon so that you can take the barrier down really quickly. So normally the vandals stay up top, left and right. But once you take a certain amount of enemies, they will start to bunch up and they'll come down to the bottom. That's what's happening here. Now, rule of thumb, you will know all the ads are dead when the the thing at the back, you'll see it, there it goes now, that energy shield that stops you going forward. When that drops, all the enemies are down. Now, that was all the easy part. Now it's the difficult part. I've always said this, this strike takes as long to do the boss as it does to get here. In fact, it actually normally takes longer. But because of the, we, the the what we've got for champions this season and the weapons that are afforded to us, it's uh, it's a little bit easier to take the champions down, especially when you become chargeable light every time you stop a champion and you've got high energy fire. You couple those things with a uh, target lock on your on your retrofit your machine gun, and it's all good. So. This is where all the difficulty is. This strike is effectively two strikes put together. Because all the way through here, barring a couple, at best, a couple of barrier champions, you take arc damage. But it's void burn. When you get to the boss, it's all void. You know, this is where all your void damage is. So this little, this little, Cubby hole, this little ledge I'm standing up on is good for some parts of this, but not for all. Now let's let's talk about this. When you first come in, you're gonna have two hydras. Big hydra, and then the little hydra. The little hydra for this this section is your trigger for the champions. You can see, you can see here I'm waiting for them. The first champions you get in here are overloads. You will get two that come out with the bosses. Once you do certain damage to the little Hydra, another wave of ads comes out with two more overloads. 
because we got rid of that Hydra quickly, we got all the champions. So there are four overloads out at the moment. The reason I decided to do that is because of that. The champions do not stand a chance. So I'm just going to stop him. And because the other overload never seen me do that, he never pushed. So I get a chance to do this. Now, I ran out of ammo there. I got the finisher. This is where I, the other the other guy come and punched me. And I thought I had... I thought I'd picked up attrition and hadn't. But because he actually punched me past the boss, I was all good. And you see there, I've ran out of ammo. Another, the only problem with this machine gun is it's a 900 RPM. Is it, I think it's a 900. So you do go through, yep, 900 RPM, 90 in the mag. You do go through the ammo pretty quickly. Hence why you should maybe have Lucent Finisher on, because all those champions I finished would have given me a brick of heavy. I, I never put it on because I'm using them or not. Uh, exotic weapons that use primary ammo drop more heavy than any other weapon. So, so there we go. Uh, we've got two overloads, two hydras. First overload we took down, the first hydra we took down gave us another wave. When you take the big, so once you do that, that'll give you four overloads in total in the first wave. You get two different types of waves, right? So you get the wave with the overloads. I'm just looking for the other Y run. I'll just put that down there, which will get rid of the little, do damage to the little Hydra. See how, see how easily that machine gun took that wide one down. It's a nonsense, if I'm being honest. It's such a good weapon. So this is the second wave of ads. The first wave, even though I've already said, well, your first wave you get two, and then you get two overloads, and then you get another two. That four overloads will class that as a quarter of the way through, right? So once you've killed the four overloads, you're a quarter of the way through. The next lot is two wyverns and two barriers. Once you once we get rid of that little hydra, we're gonna get two more barriers and two more wyverns. Once we take them down, then it's damage on the boss. Uh, that will be us halfway through. So every time you kill four champions, except when you get the barriers, you're gonna get wyverns with them. So you'll get in the first kind of quarter, the first 25% of the first 25 of this strike, you'll get all in, you'll get uh, two overloads, uh, four overloads, sorry. In the second 25% uh, of it, you will get four wyverns and four barriers. See there, this is us, we're getting my next set of wyverns out. Now I'm trying to just burn them down with I don't have enough damage. I don't have enough heavy to take to take both Y runs down. So what I done there was I uh, I, I burnt I, I burst damaged one down with lemon Uh and used my melee because I've got the thrown melee on, and I used my, you know my lemon arc is void and obviously doing void burn, and then because I knew I had my super. So I kept my super for, uh, I kept my super to take out the second Y run. Now I've got two barriers. So once we take the barriers, that will be our second big wave, right? And then it'll be a case of doing damage to the big boy. And that will bring the third wave out, which really is the first wave because it's exactly the same. We will be getting overload, uh, four or two overloads, and then once we do damage. But I think in the next one, the difference is we don't get this little transcendent hydro. To get the next wave out, we've got to do damage to the boss. And so the only real waves you've got here is you get waves of overloads, 
two, do damage to a Hydra, get another two. And you get a couple of adds with each white wave. Then you've got two you've got two barriers and two chickens. Do damage to a Hydra, you get the next two barriers and two chickens. And then it repeats itself. So as you can see, we've got Big Boy now. Right? I'm just trying to sh show my face here. Get the the overloads out. So what what we're gonna get here? See, I've got in this one you also get uh, exploding, uh, exploding vex. Now where we are now, this is a little secret. You'll see me do. It's not really a secret. It's a strategy. You'll see me do this uh, when it comes time to kill the boss, or when it comes time to take out the champions in the last wave. If you drop down here, now. I have to say this because I've heard that people have said this to me before. This strategy that I'm using now is only good for overloads. It is not any good for the wyverns because the wyverns. See, we've got we've got a stop on them there, so I'll just put that down there. I'm gonna I'm gonna let my grenade eat into them because we've got other ads coming, and because I'd hit them. Oh, we've got a finisher. Easy money. I think I've got... If I haven't got heavy ammo yet, I'm going to get heavy ammo up top here by killing a goblin. Yeah, there we go. There's my heavy. I've got my grenade. So we'll just stop him with that. I've got heavy. If I wanted to, I could burn the 20 shots I've got. I've put, I've put the burn on the overload, which will... As you see there, I've got, I've got a brick of heavy. I've got plenty of heavy now. Uh, I put the burn on the overload, so he uh, even if uh, even if I wasn't there to restop him, the burn would have done it. So now, when I do damage, I'll just come up here and get this last brick. When I do damage to the boy up here, I've saved my super now for this big boss. When I do damage to him. He will bring out my next wave of overloads. There you go. Vex reinforcements. Champion has appeared. Champion has appeared. Now we'll try and get them to come front and center. You see me, but these ones, th these champions are a little bit, a little bit coyer. Where I am now, uh, there you go. Never got the stop on them there, which is fine. What I was saying beforehand about, about you'll see me do it with the, the champions. Where that exit is, where that champion just went. If we stay to the left of there, the boss will stay through the wall. Where he is now, at the top of the stairs behind us. I'll throw my grenade out there. And I'll come up here. I don't want any of them coming around the back. Fanatics. Now the boss, because of where I was there, the boss will come. So what we'll do is we'll try and get... We've got that. We'll stop on that overload. Look at the damage. That is ridiculous. That was two... 90 rounds. That was two overloads. 90 rounds. So, yeah. If we stay to the right... The left-hand side of that middle exit just down to our right the boss will stay up here because this is the closest he can get to us the minute we go in front of that exit down there on the right uh, or just to the to the to the side of it the boss will then come round and he will try and get this exit here if we stay to the left of there the boss will will stay where we were just damaging him so I'll just throw a grenade here because now we've got barriers We've also got chickens. So we're going to see if we can get get both of these wide ones down quickly. The boss is coming around here. Now what happened here, you see we've got the little guy now, right? He's now our trigger. Just down there. For some, the Hydra must have... Uh, the Hydra must have come in when we went. Expecting it. Just... Take him out. Put my there he is. Bye. 
Now, to get the next set out, you guessed it, we've got to do damage to the little Hydra. Just jump up here. And I'm, I'm want to keep my grenade for the, the Wyvern. So that's the little Hydra dead. He's gone now. So we're going to get one next wave of Wyverns. Just keep a hold of that because no doubt. Yeah, there we go. We've only got... We haven't got a ton of ammo. I'm not too fussed about it. We just use... There we go. Chickens are gone. All we've got now, I say all we've got, is we've got four barriers. We might have some smaller ads, as you can see. Uh, I'm just doing little circuits just to make sure that I can start doing damage to the champions and not have like that, not have one of those guys like sneak up. So now that, now that we've shown our face at the top of the stairs, the boss will come. So I'm going to jump up and you see there, I've thrown the grenade, but the boss was there. So I shouldn't have thrown my grenade. Just go here, pick up that ammo. And now if I stay to the left where I'm here now, this is what I was trying to say earlier on. The boss will go back to our left and he'll stay at the top of the stairs. Right? As you see, I want to keep staying there and the champions will all come here. And that just allows us to take the champions out in relative safety. Put another burn on and then make sure I'm ready to break one champion. Now, you see how we've got that thing on my left? It's like there's an, an enemy on the left. That, what that is, is that's the box. There you see how that chat there's another champion went up top. I'm just gonna keep my pulse out, break his shield, switch to the heavy. And then we've got all the champions there. As long as I stay where I am now, I won't have to deal with the boss. Until it's time to kill the boss. I'll just throw my grenade up. Keep that barrier champion weakened. Another burn on. See what I'm saying? If, you, if you're not ready to take down the champion, he will regenerate some health. There's one more champion, and then it's it's boss time. I think there's one more. Yep, there he is. I'm not just, I don't expect him to break so quickly, so I'll just toss another grenade up there on top of him. Make sure I'm ready to break his shield. Once we do that, it's boss time. And that will be the end of the run. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope I let's say six weeks. This is the first time I've been able to talk without my voice breaking. Hopefully this is the start of me being back. I am gonna do you know this isn't gonna be it. It's been a long I was so looking forward to this season. I haven't even done a dungeon solo. I have flawlessly soloed the dungeon, but I couldn't do anything about it. My, I, I actually couldn't do too many runs on it. Uh but uh, I think I got it on my second attempt. It's not too difficult. So I, I will try and get... I'll maybe break that one up a little bit more than I did this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the run. I hope my voice wasn't too annoying. How much I can do about it with this mystery illness that just kept coming back and coming back and coming back. Uh, let's try and do something about this algorithm guys if you did enjoy the video a like would be much appreciated leave a comment saying what you liked and what you didn't like i hope you did enjoy the video thanks a lot for watching take it easy guys and i will see you all in the next video